Imagine you build a time machine. One day, you decide to travel 50 years into the past. You take with you a copy of a famous novel. Let's say Harry Potter. When you arrive in the past, you give the book to a young, aspiring writer. That writer copies it word for word and publishes it as their own work. Many years later, you are born and eventually find a copy of Harry Potter. You then use this same book to go back in time and give it to the young writer. Here is the question. Who originally wrote Harry Potter? Answer, no one. In this strange loop, the book has no true point of origin. It exists only because it was passed back in time, creating a causal loop. This is exactly what the bootstrap paradox describes. An object or piece of information has no clear beginning because it is stuck in a time loop. The term bootstrap refers to the old saying, pulling oneself up by one's bootstraps, meaning to do something impossible by yourself without outside help. In the paradox, the information or object pulls itself into existence because it is looped through time. A fun example from popular culture is in the movie Terminator. In the story, John Connor is the leader of the human resistance. He sends a soldier, Kyle Reese, back in time to protect his mother, Sarah Connor. Kyle and Sarah then have a child, who turns out to be John Connor. So you might ask, where did John Connor truly come from? Answer. He seems to come from a time loop with no clear starting point. He exists because of actions in the future and past influencing each other in a circle. Let's think about music. Imagine you love a certain song. You travel back in time and teach it to a young musician before they became famous. That musician then releases it as their big hit, inspiring you in the future to learn it and eventually take it back in time. Question. Who is the original composer of the song? Answer. There isn't one. The song simply exists in a closed loop, never truly created in the first place. This example shows how the paradox messes with our normal understanding of cause and effect. Usually, causes happen first and effects happen after. In a bootstrap paradox, they keep looping back on each other. Scientists and philosophers have debated whether the bootstrap paradox could actually happen. Some physicists argue that it might be possible according to certain solutions in Einstein's theory of general relativity, specifically closed time-like curves. But most think something would prevent it from happening in reality. There is also the Novikov self-consistency principle, which suggests that events in a time loop must be self-consistent and can never create a paradox that changes history. The bootstrap paradox is a fascinating idea that challenges the way we think about time and causality. It describes a situation where an object or piece of information is sent back in time and becomes its own origin. While it is a popular concept in science fiction, it raises serious questions about whether time travel to the past could ever really work, would you like to explore more about how physics handles time travel paradoxes? Or see even more famous examples from movies and books? Time travel has long fascinated scientists and philosophers, raising profound questions about causality. In physics, causality refers to the principle that cause precedes effect, forming a linear chain of events. However, if an object or information is sent backward in time, this strict linear order can break down. Such scenarios challenge our fundamental understanding of temporal direction and determinism. These paradoxes often appear in solutions to Einstein's equations involving closed time-like curves, CTCs. A scientist travels back in time and hands a younger version of themselves a scientific formula that they later publish. It is like drawing a circle, where there is no clear starting or ending point. Cause and effect merge into one loop. The bootstrap paradox describes a scenario where an object or piece of information has no true point of origin. Instead, it exists only because it was brought back from the future to the past. 
This creates a causal loop in which the item essentially creates itself, defying normal origin logic. Such a loop challenges the conservation of information and traditional entropy-driven time flow. Philosophically, it raises questions about free will, determinism, and the nature of reality. A person finds a mysterious violin manual, learns from it, and then goes back in time to give that manual to their younger self. This is like a book that is copied from itself infinitely, with no original author ever having written it. General relativity allows for theoretical structures known as closed time-like curves, CTCs, where time loops back on itself. In space-times containing wormholes or certain rotating solutions, like Gödel's universe, these curves might allow backward time travel. While mathematically consistent, CTCs introduce severe causality violations. These structures suggest that objects can return to their own past, potentially becoming their own cause. The bootstrap paradox naturally arises in this context. As objects can loop without a beginning, a physicist sends a particle through a wormhole, and it emerges in the past to collide with its earlier self. It is like running on a track that loops back to your starting line without ever stepping off it. Huh. The bootstrap paradox can also involve information rather than physical objects. Imagine a scientific theory or piece of music that appears to exist without an origin because it is passed back in time. This undermines the principle of information conservation and intellectual authorship. It suggests that knowledge can exist out of nowhere, creating a seemingly self-sufficient knowledge loop. Such cases blur the lines between creation and replication. A mathematician proves a theorem using a future discovered proof that they themselves wrote after receiving it from their future self. It is like copying a recipe from a note you wrote in the future, but never actually inventing the dish yourself. Quantum mechanics introduces further complexity, as it already allows non-intuitive phenomena like superposition and entanglement. Some speculative quantum gravity theories propose that time loops might be reconciled via self-consistency constraints, as suggested in Novikov's self-consistency principle. This principle posits that any actions taken by a time traveler were always part of history, preventing paradoxes. Nevertheless, it does not explain how an object or idea could truly originate without an external source. The bootstrap paradox remains an unresolved and highly debated conceptual challenge in quantum cosmology. A quantum particle is measured in the future, and its state is sent back to influence its own past trajectory. It is like a chess piece that moves on its own based on a future move it will make. The paradox challenges the second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy, disorder, tends to increase over time. If an object or information endlessly circulates in a time loop, it seemingly avoids decay or entropy buildup. This implies a perfect preservation of order, conflicting with natural physical processes. In a closed loop, the object's timeline becomes circular rather than linear leaving its aging and energy dissipation ambiguous. Resolving these conflicts requires new physical frameworks beyond standard thermodynamics. A violin from the future repeatedly loops back in time, always appearing brand new regardless of how long it exists. It is like a candle that keeps burning but never gets shorter or produces melted wax. Philosophically, the bootstrap paradox raises questions about identity, free will, and existence. If an object or idea has no original creator, can it truly exist in a meaningful sense? It challenges our understanding of agency and authorship, forcing us to reconsider linear narratives of causation. Furthermore, it introduces the possibility of a deterministic universe where choices are illusions, within a self-consistent loop. These questions intersect deeply with metaphysical debates on time and consciousness. A composer writes a symphony because they heard it played decades earlier by an orchestra that learned it from that same composer. It is like seeing your own reflection and realizing that neither you nor the reflection came first.
The bootstrap paradox is a favorite theme in science fiction literature and film. Stories often depict characters sending information or objects back to prevent disasters or to inspire their younger selves. Famous examples include the TV series Doctor Who, the film Predestination, and certain episodes of Star Trek. These stories illustrate the tension between dramatic narrative and scientific plausibility. They help audiences grapple with the implications of time travel and causality loops in an accessible way. In Doctor Who, a character writes a book after reading it in the future, creating a loop without a true author. This is like hearing a story so many times you forget who told it first. Eventually, it seems to have always existed. Physicists have proposed various solutions to avoid paradoxes, including the many-worlds interpretation and consistency constraints. The many-worlds interpretation suggests that each paradox-inducing action creates a new divergent timeline, avoiding circular causality. Meanwhile, self-consistency conditions ensure that only non-paradoxical loops can exist, though they do not explain originless objects. Despite these ideas, no experimental evidence currently supports time travel or objects without origin. The bootstrap paradox thus remains a fascinating theoretical challenge that invites continued exploration across physics, philosophy, and literature. A future scientist invents a gadget, travels back and hands it to a past engineer who builds it. But under many worlds, this creates a new branch rather than a loop. It is like splitting a tree branch each time you try to form a loop, creating countless new paths rather than a closed circle.